Welcome you to my channel Adians HR. Today we will learn how salary income is taxed. So as you all know, we have two types of tax regime, old tax regime and new tax regime. So according to that tax regime, tax has been calculated and same is deducted from our monthly salary. So here there is two things we must should know in salary tax calculation. One, when we calculate tax, there are two aspects. Number first is average tax and number second is spot tax, which we can say one time tax. Okay. So we will try to understand this by one example of rupees 25 lakhs 6803 rupees is taxable income, which contains a one time payment like you can say incentive or any other amount, which is one time apart from the salary is rupees 5,628 rupees. Here we will calculate tax on given amount. Okay, so here we will calculate tax on basis of old tax regime. So firstly, I will mention here tax slab rate. So as you know, from zero to two lakh fifty thousand, the tax rate is zero percent. Okay, from two lakh fifty thousand to five lakh, the tax rate is. 5% and from 5 lakh to 10 lakh the tax rate is 20% and the amount greater, greater than 10 lakh then the tax leverage is 30% so here you can see the tax leverage for old tax regime now i will try to find out the difference between the slab so here the difference is zero and five like minus two like fifty thousand two like fifty thousand and here the difference is five like okay then we will calculate tax on these differences okay you can see 12,500 for 5% and 1 lakh for 20% slab rate. Okay. So now you can see the taxable amount 2 lakh 25 lakh 6803. Uh, it's considering the value of 5628, which is the incentive amount. Okay. So we will firstly what we will do. This is the greater than 10 lakh amount. Okay. So what we will do, we will extract 10 lakh. Okay. And on that amount we will calculate 30 percent tax as that slab says greater than 10 like it is charged as 30 percent slab rate okay then we will add back the amount before 10 lakhs which is 12,500 and 1 lakh amount according to 5 percent and 20 percent slab so we will add back this 12,500 and 1 lakh okay so this is the amount of tax on the income of 25 lakhs 6803 rupees so here i will mention total tax equal to this amount okay now education says so as you all know the rate of education says is four percent on total tax okay so we'll easily find it find out this amount now the total tax will be total tax plus education says okay so it's simple we have find out the total tax value now as you know in this taxable amount incentive amount of rupees 5628 is added here so what we will do we will find out the tax amount on 5622 rupees 28 rupees okay so as the income goes in 30% slab so we will flat deduct 30% tax and 4% on education says so you can see the total tax on 5628 rupees is 1755 rupees 94 percent okay so we will less average we will less here this amount of taxation one time tax okay it's a very simple calculation so this is the tax on variable payment on uh, on basis of 
tax lab rate so we will just subtract this value okay so here you can see the final amount file like 85,366 rupees okay now here we will find out the average tax so the average tax will be this divided by 12 by 12 because we are processing the April month salary we are in the month of April so we will divide it by 12 okay because April the financial year is from April to March it's 12 month 12, uh, 12 month okay so we will accordingly divide by 12 so this amount where you can see is the monthly average tax which is excluding the spot tax okay so here you can see the average amount for the month of april is 48,780 rupees now we will find out the actual tax which is going to be deducted in the month of april okay so what we will do we will consider the average tax plus this one time tax so 1755 rupees so this is the tax for the month of april which is going to be deducted from my salary okay so this is the simple calculation so only one thing is here i want to mention that the difference of average tax and one time tax or a spot tax is average tax segregated between the from the month month wise it's got segregated from april to march but a spot tax when you got any one time payment like incentive or or anything which is apart from your fixed salary then in that in which month you got the salary the same in the same month we deduct entire tax on that amount so this is the simple calculation of a spot tax and average tax hope this video will help you to understand the taxation so thank you for watching